Today we're going to be making a non-objective art collage. So the first thing to do is here I'm taking an oil pastel and I'm kind of making this nice yellow circle shape. Um, I want to make it a look a little bit three-dimensional, so I'm adding this darker orange color around the side. Oh, got a little smudge on there, but I can fix it later. So I'm trying to make the circle look kind of um, really nice and blended. I'm adding a little bit more yellow there. With the tissue, I'm really trying to blend it out really nicely. Um, the point of the non-objective art collage is um, we're trying to put together a composition that doesn't really look like anything. It just kind of is pretty, and it makes us sort of like feel an emotion. Um, it doesn't need to look like anything. In fact, it shouldn't look like we're trying to, trying to do anything. It should just be um, a composition that looks good. And so it really frees us up to make a lot of artistic choices. So here I'm using that same color scheme, but I'm kind of using the ability to blend to make this kind of zigzag pattern with the red and the orange over the yellow. I really like the way this turned out and I'm excited to see what it looks like in my final composition. So I'm gonna cut these circles out um, and once I've done that, I'm gonna set them aside and start working with some contrasting cooler colors so that I have a lot of different shapes and colors to work with when I put together my final composition. Oh, we're gonna clean up those edges a little bit. All right, we're skipping some parts. We don't need to see all this. All right, now I'm taking this nice blue. This is a chalk pastel that I'm using. Um, and I'm taking these two colors and I want them to be sort of like, to make kind of like a nice gradient. So I'm just using my finger to blend them out really well and kind of take away some of that texture and make sure that it's like a really nice and smooth color transition between these two cool colors. Um, I think I might add a little bit more black in here just because I want it to be a more complete transition. See, there's my, my blending finger. Just to make sure that it gets all the way from dark to light. Thank you. It's like, um, black how are you? Now you don't, when you're making your own objective or non-objective collage, you don't have to do any of these things that I'm doing. I'm just showing you an example of what you might could do if you wanted to. Um, similarly, I wanted to sort of use some curved lines to sort of echo the circles, those yellow circles that I made. I want to have some curved lines kind of to um, to, to mimic those shapes, um, but I'm still, I'm still sticking with the cool color scheme that I used to make this gradient. So I'm making these kind of green and blue wavy lines. And I'm going to blend them out a little bit more. Adding a lighter green color for some contrast and some visual interest. Bring that blue back again. And then once I've kind of filled up the space, once again, I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to blend it all together. Looking back on this, I wonder, I wonder what it would have looked like if I had gone in a couple different directions instead of just going making straight lines. I kind of like the way this looks. I'm adding some yellow zigzags on top of this just to sort of add some texture. I like this one. It makes me think of like sunlight through ocean water. I think it's really pretty. I'm happy with how this is turning out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my final collage composition. So I'm just taking some black paint and I'm going to draw some lines. Oops, I made a little dot. Yeah, I dripped some paint on the canvas, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. So all I'm doing is I'm just drawing some sort of curved lines and straight lines and making this big wavy line across the whole thing. This is just sort of to ground the composition and these black lines will sort of give me, give me things to work with when I'm adding my shapes later. Remember, it doesn't have to look like anything. It's not supposed to be anything. All it is is just shapes and colors that I like that make me feel a certain way. The thing that I was trying to go for with this composition was kind of a balance between these nice sort of green shapes. See, that was the gradient that I did earlier with the black and the blue and the green. And I cut it into these kind of triangular shapes. And there's my circle. See, I wanted to achieve kind of a balance between the, the warm circular shapes and the cool angular shapes. I'm really liking how this is turning out already.
I like that this is sort of the same color scheme, but looks a little bit different from the other circle. I'm really happy with how it turned out looking a little bit three-dimensional. See, I'm just trying out different places where I might put my different elements, the elements of my composition. I'm really taking my time. I sped it, I sped this up so this video wouldn't be two hours long, but I did kind of take my time trying out different compositions and arrangements of materials. See that? I was really happy about how that shape came out. It was kind of this like organic look. It looks almost like some seaweed or something. Oops, I got some paint on the back of it. I guess that's where that's going then. Too lazy to glue that one down, I guess. Oh, and I kind of like how it's almost like that big orange circle in the center looks like the sun. And then th this one is kind of like the moon almost. Then I'm gonna add some more black lines on top, again, to sort of like bring the composition together and balance things out. Make sure everything feels like it has a place. There. One more little circle, and that's that. I'm really happy with how this turned out. 